here we are, me and my wife, we're at Bushkill Falls, and thanks to my mom and grandmother, they've taken the four children, and the reason that we're up here in the Poconos and taking this um, week-long trip is because we just recently reached a milestone in our marriage of 15 years. The, um, yeah, we're having trouble making sure we keep our, our footing and our stepping here, which is not too much unlike marriage. There's plenty of rocks and sticks along the way to keep you tripped up, but um, we're, we're just kind of moving forward and holding hands. That's right. Check it out. Yes, yeah, with the water bottle, got to dehydrated. But as we made plans for this trip, we uh, confessed to you we didn't have tons of money. We didn't have, um, you know, couldn't fly around the world like we like to. But yeah, we still felt like it was important for us to celebrate milestones. It's so easy in marriage to get so focused in on, on the difficulties, on the, um, the trials of raising kids, the day by day type of items that it um, sometimes the fun can be taken out of marriage. And so this week we're just trying to celebrate a huge milestone and remember how to have fun as a couple, as husband and wife, as boyfriend and girlfriend. And um, we do look forward to getting back to our kids. But this week was a, a great celebration for us. And I encourage you, whether it's going out for coffee or going on a major vacation, whatever you can do, make sure you celebrate the milestones along the way because it creates value for you and your loved one. Right here, my wife and I have walked down to the um, lookout point, and you see it behind me there, um, over the, my shoulder, the lookout section of um, this Bushkill Falls area. And actually flying around me at this moment are literally, I think, millions of ladybugs. They're landing all over me right now. But you might be thinking to yourself, all right, you're talking about celebrating milestones, and but um, what does it look like? How does it happen? for real people with real schedules and um, what are the elements that make up celebrating milestones specifically in your marriage and let me just suggest three ways to celebrate those milestones the first of which is take separated and isolated time together as a couple um, that's on, both on a regular basis as well as on a oh here they come on a, um, a seasonal basis such as anniversaries and so forth and whatever your budget, just work it within there. But take time where it's just the two of you. Um, it's impossible to keep that love alive, to continue um, to build the relationship that God has entrusted into your hands outside of isolated time together. Second, find something that you both enjoy doing. Um, as, you, as you dialogue, um, don't just give in to what one person wants. Find something that you both enjoy and um, remember, it's not necessarily about the activity, it's more about the time together. And third, um, as, you, as you move forward towards celebrating milestones, make it fun. Make it fun. Learn to laugh together, be silly again, act like your kids. Um, sometimes we get so serious as adults, I know I'm guilty of this, that we forget to have fun together. And those three items will really help you to have a great time in the, um, celeb the celebration of your milestones for your marriage and for your life. And trust me, in the long run, as you look over your shoulder at the landscape of life, um, you'll be glad that you did. Because it's not just about the steps along the way, it's about the big picture of where God is leading you and your spouse. And these milestones will help you.